We're going to move on now to professional athletes competing in a virtual world. Esports, a growing billion dollar a year industry being called a world phenomenon. Colleges and high schools across the country are adopting programs, including right here in Metro Detroit. Some are even offering scholarships, but what exactly is it? Seven Action News reporter Darren Cunningham goes in depth speaking with people involved in esports at both levels. When it comes to esports, Oakland University is one of the top ranked varsity college teams in the nation. I'm going to learn more about esports and try my hand at Rocket League. Yes. Esports is competitive gaming at its most basic level. So you can think of it just like traditional sports, except without football or basketball, it's just with gaming titles. Not just playing video games to pass the time, but he says these are team-based competitions that can lead to professional right, careers so uh, and big money. Oakland University Esports head coach Carl Leone says he's performing his dream job. Get a bump. There it is, let's go. Look at, look at, it's open. Yep. Getting that bump. See, coach knows. There it is. Recruiting and coaching all, all players who rank in at balls. least the top 5% of the country. Rankings that have their perks. Last year, there was about 200 schools in the U.S. that gave scholarships for gaming. Now there's 350. Edward Azam. Got it. A highly ranked scholarship athlete himself showed this old dog how to play Rocket League. Yes. Every time you score, there's like a unique goal explosion too. Oh, okay, like, all right. It's a steep learning curve for me, to say the least. Oh! Oh. oh! But perhaps parents might discover their kids actually have talent. If you start early as a kid and you have that passion, it can drive you through like all of your years of development. And you can probably, you know, end up becoming a really good player if you get the right support. So if you're a parent, I'd say just attend local events, see what's available in your area, talk to other parents who may also have kids who are interested in esports because you know, the number is growing pretty rapidly. Esports is really emerging at our high schools and uh, and also at middle schools at, across the state of Michigan. Wendy Zadeb with the Michigan High School Esports League says the level of skill and gamesmanship in esports brings with it the science, technology, and engineering components that educators like to see. She says some middle school clubs may expose students to coding or the inner workings of video game graphics. OU hosted the high school championships the weekend before last. Bloomfield Hills won two titles. One of the statistics that jumped out to me was that 45% of the students involved in esports weren't involved in any other school activity. Another way to engage students, young and old. Let's go! Let's go! Yeah. Let's, go. Yeah. Let's, go. Yeah. Let's go! In Rochester, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. New day for sure. We thank you for that, Darren. For more information on eSports and the programs available, head to WXYZ.com and look for Darren's story.